So we already know the i series pattern for the first four powers of i. So we're going to take i to the fourth equals 1, and we're going to multiply both sides by i. So now we have i to the fifth equals i. We're going to repeat the process, multiply both sides by i. Now we have i to the sixth equals i squared. Again, multiply both sides by i. We have i to the seventh equals i cubed. Multiply again both sides by i. We have i to the eighth equals i to the fourth, which equals 1. So taking what we've learned in the work column, we can enter the next four powers of i. i to the fifth equals i. i to the sixth equals i squared. i to the seventh equals negative i. And i to the eighth equals i to the fourth. Now you'll notice every four powers of i, this series repeats itself. So let me show you a trick because teachers are going to have i to the different powers and you have to figure out what that's equivalent to. So let's take i to the ninth for example. We're going to divide this by 4. That is the power of i by 4. We have 2. 2 times 4 is 8. Remainder 1. Okay, so that means i to the ninth equals i to the first, which is the remainder. Let me do this again. Let's take i to the twenty-third. So we divide 4 into 23, goes 5 times for 20, and the remainder is 3. So that means i to the twenty-third is equivalent to i cubed. Now if you have a number that's completely divisible by 4 without a remainder, for instance i to the fortieth, that will be equivalent to 1. So any multiple of 4, so i powers to the multiple of 4, will be equivalent to 1.